learned a little bit of new information this afternoon. Seattle Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal said today that a procedural tool known as a discharge petition could be used as early as next week to try and force a vote to the House floor so the hundreds of thousands of dreamers in the United States can have more certainty in the months to come. I came to this country when I was just seven years old. I grew up in South Seattle, and it's the only place I call home. Jose Manuel, a DACA recipient himself, attended Bellevue College before transferring and graduating from UW. He returned to his former school to stand beside Washington's two senators and two Democratic Congress members to raise awareness about the continued uncertainty he and thousands of other dreamers in this state face. We're basically in limbo status. We don't know what's going to happen after my DACA permit expires. Lawmakers have until next March to come up with a legislative solution after the Trump administration announced plans to end the Obama era executive order, urging Congress to come up with a fix. We're going to fight all the way. Because Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, an immigrant herself and longtime advocate, says the goal of people in this room remains the DREAM Act, legislation that would allow dreamers a pathway to citizenship. But some Republicans and the president have said they want immigration enforcement measures as part of the deal. It's ridiculous to expect that there's going to be some sort of dramatic border security increase as part of this bill. And I'll tell you, I really think that Republicans, a lot of the Republicans I've spoken to, just want this to go away. They know it's not a winning issue to oppose it. Many of them feel really morally strong about wanting to do something. With the debate over a health care repeal potentially dominating the time and headlines next week, the timeline of legislation on this topic is unknown. We really don't know what's going to happen, so I can't really plan ahead. I don't know. I want to, I was thinking of buying a house. Now I don't know if I can even do that. So all of that has been thrown out the window. And I and recall a key issue here is DACA recipients like Jose Manuel currently have no path to legal citizenship that was not part of the DACA program. So their current hopes and dreams really rest with Congress.